Living Local Carolina with Katie Turner. Local trends, shopping, dining, and more. This is Living Local Carolina. Well, it doesn't get much better than this today. I am at K1SD with AJ. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Let's talk about what you guys do. Look at this. Just incredible. So much fun. But walk me through the whole gambit. Yeah. So uh, when you come in, you um, sign up for your races. Um, there will be a waiver you sign and everything like that. Um, and you basically pick your race package. You want to do one race, multiple races. Walk-ins are, are generally our main, you know, sale. It, a lot of people just kind of come on in and um, buy races. I mean, it you can really just buy races. Yeah. Okay. Yep. yep. And they stay on your account forever until you use them, of course. Um, so for every race you get, you get credits. Each race, you know, costs a certain amount of credits. So that gets done right at the front desk here. Once that's done, you get your name called up to get in helmets, get in carts and race. It can be a little intimidating. A little bit. But you guys have a little something for everyone. What do you do when you have a newbie? For new drivers, we usually start them off on our level two, um, which is still pretty quick, um, but it kind of gives everybody a good feel for uh, the carts, the track, how everything's gonna handle, how they'll handle it. Mm -hmm. We've done a really good job here training up our guys to know and see the signs like, okay, this person knows what they're doing, this person doesn't know what they're doing, so they can kind of adjust speed accordingly um, per cart. Perfect. And what all do you guys offer? Um, so we do uh, offer corporate events, um, birthday parties, pretty much anything in between. Um, you know, if you're looking to just kind of come up here with a couple buddies or even bachelor parties we've done. Mm, that'd um, be fun. So uh, we do have a um, party room uh, as well as arcades. So we do have a few amenities um, for people looking to either do birthday parties or even facility rentals. Okay, so if somebody was interested in having a party here, what does that process look like with yep. you guys? So um, you would contact our event coordinator, Alyssa. Oh, um, you have an event coordinator, sure booyah. Yep. Sure do, uh, she kind of handles all of that, um, whether it be through email, phone call, text message, whatever, um, best form of contact really. And uh, you know, people will work with her um, to kind of you know, get what is suited for them and their party. Sometimes we get, you know, parties of 50 plus, sometimes we get parties of five. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, really she works with, with the party to kind of cater to exactly what they need. Um, so they have everything that they need. All right, so this is Living Local Carolina. What do you have to offer the locals? Yep, so during our uh, prime time season, which is our summer season, um, we, do have, we do offer local discounts. Um, and then during our off season, uh, we do actually bring our prices down a little bit. So it's a little bit more affordable for the locals. Um, I know a lot of locals have been pretty appreciative of that mm -hmm. through our first season. So, and uh, we also do offer uh, racing leagues um, for all the locals. So um, our leagues are uh, about 10 weeks long with a one week break in the middle. Um, and it's based off of uh, a point standing. So you go out, you get first place, you get a certain amount of points. Um, you know, first, second, third, fourth, all the way down has points. I think like if there's a 12 person race, 12th is like you get two points. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're always getting some type of points in a race, um, but obviously the better you do, the more points you're gonna get. Um, we do offer trophies, prizes. Um, we do weekly prizes, um, little knickknacks here and there, but um, usually we do like fastest time of the week. Um, we'll give like a t-shirt or a hat or something like that of their choice. So we're, we're gearing up for it and we're excited for it. Very exciting. Yep. Okay, run me through your hours and you guys are open rain or shine. Yes, yes, we are open rain or shine, specifically on the rain part. Um, we are open noon to 10 every day. Um, our off season hours are coming up, so they might shrink a little bit, but not too much. Our website will show um, all of our uh, hour changes and everything like that. <laughs>
We'll be back right after this break with more Living Local Carolina. Well, good morning and thank you so much for joining us today on Living Local Carolina. Today, I am joined in studio by Keosha Garrett. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. We're gonna talk about what you have been doing, your ministry, Shenavia's Dream Sickle Cell Clinic. Yes, ma'am. Um, I started a nonprofit this year in memory of my late sister, Shenavia, who passed away from sickle cell complications back in 2021. Um, it's been, amazing the amount of people that we were able to reach in charleston mcclellanville georgetown area it's definitely amazing um, so yeah you truly hit the ground running I when did. it comes to all the different things that you've been doing what do you think is important for the community to know about sickle cell the important thing, um, one, of, one of the many important things that I feel that our community should know is that sickle cell is definitely a forgotten about disease. We need more awareness because it affects so many people. Um, I had my second annual blood drive back on Shenevi's birthday, which was June 10th. And um, I had MUSC to come out to do sickle cell trait testing. And just this morning, I had someone to reach out to me, telling me, hey, I got my results and I have the sickle cell trait and she's about 20 years old and she didn't know so it's like that gap between the communication from parents over time to their children sometimes they forget to like you know their kids know hey you have the trait try not to mate with someone else that has the trait because then their mm -hmm. child will have sickle cell which mm -hmm. in my case that's what happened to my sister because my mom knew but my dad he didn't so education is super important. Education, most definitely, education. All right, so if people want to stay connected with you among this journey, how can they do that? Well, definitely, they can follow us on Facebook at Shenavia's Dream Sickle Cell Clinic. Also, they can reach us at shenaviasdream at gmail.com. If they want to inquire about blood drives, they can um, refer to the Facebook page and we keep everyone posted there. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, today I am joined by Cecile Walks Peace, an author. I am so happy to talk to you today. How are you doing? Same here. I'm great. I'm blessed. Thank you for having me. Well, this is such a treat. We're going to be talking about your book, Gigi's Gems, that you just released this year. This was a huge deal. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it was. Tell yes. me, tell me, there's there's a story behind this. There's a story behind Gigi's Gems. Gigi's Gems is loosely based on my mom, my mom Irma Walks, and her bout with dementia. So the story, Gigi's Gems, is a children's picture book, beautifully illustrated by Cameron Wilson. And it's about three children and their great grandmother, their queen, Gigi. I love it, I love it. So tell me, what was your inspiration to start writing this book? You've been an author for quite some time, right? I have, I have. So I've done some ghost writing on a few projects, both here and also on the continent of Africa with some friends. And now it's just an opportunity for me to release Gigi's Gems, pretty much, to just tell the story of how dementia is affecting our family, to allow our children to have an opportunity to talk about some tough topics tough topics that you illustrate and talk about beautifully, but tell me, how do you make that palatable for children? So one of the things about children is that if you give them the opportunity to understand, if I can understand it, then with my teaching background, I've been able to teach them how to understand tough topics. So oftentimes, it's just an opportunity to empower them, to empower them, and in this particular story, the children are trying to unlock Gigi's memories. Mm -hmm. And they find that they have to dig a little bit deeper than just on the surface of Gigi's favorite times with them. And it's the youngest one that finds the key to unlock those memories. Oh. Yes. Very interesting. All right, so tell me for anyone who wants to read this book, where can they purchase it? They can purchase this book, Target, Amazon. It's purchased online. It's also at Black Sugar and Spice Books. It was picked up as well there. And so it's an online purchase. And if people want to stay, you know, with you while you write more books in the future, social yes, media? Yes, social media. Find me on IG as well as um, on our website, walksinpeace.com.
We'll be back right after this break with more Living Local Carolina. Living Local Carolina today. I mean, come on, what a treat. I am at Isn't the Art it? Museum of Myrtle Beach. How are you doing, Patricia? Oh, no, I couldn't be better. Thank you for being here. So you are the executive director here. I am, yes. You know quite a bit about art. I know quite a bit about this museum. Mm, okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't um, say that I know everything about art, but I certainly know about this museum and what we feature. And I'm delighted to feature the Rhodes Collection of African American Art, the Rhodes Collection of African American Art in this exhibition entitled Lifting Black Voices. I mean, we just, we just took a little walk around and it's breathtaking. It is breathtaking. Least. I mean, you have Philip Simmons, Jonathan Green, just right. really, really awesome. We have 80 works by 30 different artists all collected by Dr. and Mrs. Rhodes, who uh, have a dental practice in Walterboro and live in Charleston, South Carolina. They have been collecting since 1991, and this is just a small portion of their collection. And weren't we lucky to get these 80 pieces? Oh my goodness. Yes, and I mean, we have names like Jonathan Green and Philip Simmons, Tyrone Jeter, Arianne Kincomer and Leo Twiggs, who do boutiques. Um, we have sculpture and yeah. yeah, woodwork and ironwork and oils and pastels. I mean, collages, James Denmark collages. So it just tells such a wonderful story. Mainly, all of these artists have ties to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They all were born here, taught here, lived here, created here. So this is really a homage to South Carolina and the art uh, of past and present. Well, I mean, what has the response been to people who have been perusing this exhibit so far? Absolutely couldn't have been better. Just what we were hoping for. I mean, we're just reaching people, you know, tourists, of course, who are coming to Myrtle Beach but also to our residents. And we also offer a lot of children's programming. Love that. Yeah, okay. um, we do. We have camps for five to seven year olds and to eight to 12 year olds. We also offer free programming for community groups. Love that. Yes, then they come from Georgetown and all over Horry County. So we're very proud of that too. Now remind me of y'all's hours. I mean, mm -hmm. this is the place to come if you want. And we're free admission. Yeah, I yes. was going to say it's right. free. It's air conditioned. We mm -hmm. love that. Yeah, we in do. The yes. Theater. But what are your hours? We're so? our hours are Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday from 1 to 5. Perfect. Now, what's the best way to contact you guys? Uh, our website is um, MyrtleBeachArtMuseum.org, or call us at Don't forget to like our page on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. How to use the QR code. Just open the camera app on your smartphone, iPad, or tablet. Point your device at the QR code so the QR code appears on your screen. Your device will recognize the QR code and show you a notification. Click that notification and you'll come to our website.
Living Local Carolina, weekday mornings at 9.30 on WBTW News 13.